I'm going to take a completely new topic with zero prep and turn it into a research brief, a slide deck, and a visual explanation in under 10 minutes. No Google, no manual searching, no copy pasting. If you ever lost hours just figuring out where to start with research, this workflow changes everything. So let's get into it. Let's be honest about where time actually goes when you research. It's not the writing, it's not even the reading. It's deciding which sources matter, figuring out what's outdated, organizing everything, and then second guessing if you miss something important. Most tools help with the answers. Almost none help with structure. That's the gap Notebook LM fills. Most people treat Notebook LM like a chatbot with files, and that's the wrong way to think about it. It's not ChatGPT and you shouldn't be using it as ChatGPT or any other LLM out there. The right way to think about Notebook LM is a research agent that builds assets and not just responds to your inquiries. It's not a chatbot and you shouldn't be treating it like one as well. And once you see it that way, the time savings that Notebook LM can provide start to make sense. And today I'm going to show you guys a simple notebook that I'm going to create. So once you're in Notebook LM, click on the create new notebook. And the first thing Notebook LM does is prompts you to add your sources here. Now, I want to show you guys that you don't even have to do this to get high quality research done. So you can just press exit on this. And then you can ask to search the web for new sources. But the trick here is to turn this into deep research. Deep research searches the web and finds you the best quality in-depth reports and results. So we'll click on this and we're going to name this notebook called AI Tools Market Overview 2026. This is something that we can all relate to and this is probably a topic that we're all probably interested in. It works for students, professionals, founders, content creators, but the exact topic doesn't really matter. It's the workflow that matters here. So once we have our title done, we can then ask deep research to search for something specific we would like to learn about. For our case, I'm going to ask it an overview of the AI tools market, key categories, major players, recent trends, and future outlook. And this is where the first major time collapse happens. Instead of me searching, skimming, opening tabs and closing them, Notebook LM does three things automatically. Find sources, evaluates relevance, synthesizes them into a report. That's normally hours of messy stop start work and that is also tedious. Why do all of that now when you have Notebook LM? All right, it looks like our deep research is completed and we can look at all our sources here. Looks like it's selected about top 20 sources and we can view all of them by clicking on this view button. So let's click on that. And this PDF that you're seeing is actually based on 44 sources. And this is a summary of every single article that we see at the bottom here. So this saves you a lot of time. Instead of manually digging into each of these sources, you have access to this article that you can scroll through and see what source is referencing and then understand if you want to keep that source or not. So obviously, we haven't imported our sources into the chat yet. And this is actually one of the most powerful features. This checkbox system is one feature that almost no one talks about. By selecting which sources the model can see, you control the scope of its reasoning. That's how you get precise answers instead of generalized summaries. Let's say you wanted to verify a source or learn more about where it's from. You can actually click on this icon over here and it'll take you to that specific source and explain how it got that information. So you can see that this is a Gartner article, which is obviously a very reputable newsroom. So we can close this. But let's say now that we are satisfied with all our sources, all we have to do is click this import and this will build your database of sources and resources that you can now interact with and build assets with. Now the PDF that we saw earlier, which was the summary is shown here. It has this icon over here, which kind of looks like the summation of all these articles. And this is your research brief. This replaces hours of manual synthesis. Even if you rewrite everything, you're starting from structure instead of chaos. Now you can click on this research brief and always refer back to it. And it'll show you all of the information that it has over here. And you can see that it has broken it down by market overview and economic foundations and is referencing specific articles. So this is amazing to see because you have access to where the research is coming from. Because if we scroll all the way down, we have all our sources here and we can refer to them by just clicking on a simple link. So this is amazing. Now let's say after doing this amazing research that took you hours, I mean, a couple of seconds, 
you want to now create a report that you can deliver to your boss, to your teacher, or somebody that wants this information. Instead of sitting down and typing all of this, you can click on one simple button and that will generate that report for you. And that button is right over here, which is called reports. So let's click on this. Now, what's amazing is that when you create the report, you have the option to customize how the report is created. You can create your own. So craft reports your way by specifying structure, style, tone, and more. Now, if you're working at a company, sometimes there is a specific structure that a company might follow. You can give that structure to this so Notebook LM can follow that structure and create a report that looks similar to that. You can also create a briefing doc. Let's say you have a meeting coming up and you want to go in there or you just want a quick refresher about something and you don't want to go through a exhaustive report. You can use this. You can create a study guide. So for my students listening to this, you can dump your textbooks in here and create a study guide for you and create a report that you can refer to kind of like a cheat sheet. And my content creators, you can use this to create a blog post. So this is amazing. You have high quality resources and your blog post is going to stand out compared to someone else's. You can also have some suggested formats you see here. If you work in a field like consulting or strategy, you can create a strategic memo. You can create a competitive analysis. You can create an informational article and you can also do a concept explainer. Now, what's cool is that you just don't have to use this. You can actually click on this icon over here, this pencil icon and all of these and specify how you want to do that. So let's say we wanted to go with a strategic memo. So we can click on this and then you can see that describe the report you want to create already has a populated section here. And it says that synthesize the provided analysis into a concise forward looking memorandum for senior leadership. If that's your audience, you would use this. Let's say you want to do it for investors, maybe. Maybe you want to create a memo that's to your specific investors if you're working in the corporate world. You can use this section over here to customize their report. For our demo purposes, we'll just keep it as this, and we're just going to create generate. Now, while our report is being generated, we can also create slide decks. You might have a meeting and you might need to prepare a simple pitch deck or might have to synthesize their information in a simple yet effective manner and slide decks are a go to option. So once again, you can click on this, click on the customize option, you can create a detailed deck, which is a comprehensive deck with full text and details. This is perfect for somebody using this in an email or is going to read them as context versus a presenter slide, which is more for a presentation. And you can also specify the length, you can keep it short or default. Let's do short for our section. And then we can also once again, describe the slide deck you want to create which is going to be add a high level outline or guide the audience style and focus it should be create a deck for beginners using a bold and playful style with a focus on step by step instructions. We're going to make this a little bit more professional so I can customize this and I'm going to ask notebook LM to create a deck that is high level for professionals to understand the market size and tools and trends that are happening at the moment. So let's click generate. And then you can also generate an infographic, which could be used for a simple poster if you're doing some study on the AI market. So let's click on this. And then once again, you can choose your language. As you can see, like I haven't shown it in the other features, but you have different languages available here. So hopefully your language is available. We'll keep it as English for now. You can choose your orientation, landscape, portrait or square. Let's do just landscape and you can choose the level of detail, concise, detailed or standard. And once again, you have the ability to guide the infographic. So I'm going to tell it to use light colors and keep it for the student level audience. So we'll have our deck, which is going to be more geared towards professionals and then this towards students. So let's generate this. So while all that is being generated, you can now go ahead and take a little quick break, maybe grab a coffee and your hard work will be done in a couple of seconds. So it looks like our strategic memo is ready. So we can click on this to view it. So it's calling it the memo for senior leadership strategic outlook on the AI landscape for 2026. So very professional. And you can see like the language over here is professional is for a senior leadership. So it's not going to use obviously slang or any generalized language out there. So we can see it has the bubble thesis, then there's the justified growth thesis. So we have people that think that we are in an AI bubble. And then we have people that believe that we are in a growth phase. So this is amazing because it has market analysis. And as someone who has a background in this, the language it's using is pretty professional and would be something that would be good for senior leadership to understand the AI landscape. All right. It looks like our student infographic is also ready and is calling it the AI in 2026 bubble or breakthrough. So let's click on this. So we can see that it followed our guide. It used a white theme background 
and he created it for a student audience. So yes, is it the great AI debate? Is it a bubble? We have people on the one side thinking, yes, it's a bubble. No, it's a revolution. Then we have regulations and everything like that. And since we specified it for a student audience, you can see the language it has used is much more geared towards that audience versus the more professional language we saw in the report. And this, once again, pretty high quality infographic, not bad at all. It summarizes the information very easily. All right, it looks like our deck is also ready. So let's click on this. So once again, our deck is ready and you can see the audience was supposed to be professional. So you can see that the deck it's using is actually something that would be not bad at all in the consulting environment. Obviously you can tweak it, match your company's guidelines, match your company's fonts and everything like that. But the structure, even for inspiration purposes is not bad at all. And I've seen some decks from consulting companies that don't even look this professional. So this is amazing. And you can see like this infographic, once again, very, very aesthetically pleasing as well serves the purpose and specifies the information in a very coherent manner. So this is good to see. And then I love this page as well, explains the AI infrastructure in a very visual manner. So it has great abilities to take our information and summarize them in a manner that would be easy for a meeting or anything like that. And then this is amazing as well. We have our, you know, regulation and depending on that, like this is pretty much correct as well. Like the EU has an AI act that's already been underway and North America is still trying to figure that out at the moment. So this is accurate. I mean, this is a really great deck and I wouldn't mind seeing this in my email inbox. And that's it. What you just watch normally takes about 10 hours, an hour or two to find sources, several more to read, filter and organize them, then more time to turn that research into something usable a report, slides, or visuals. In this workflow, all of that happened in minutes, not because the AI magically knows more, but because it handled the slow parts, sourcing, structuring, and synthesis. I didn't just get answers. I walked away with a research brief I can reference, a slide deck that I can present, and an infographic I can share. And that's the difference. Notebook LM doesn't just help you understand information, it helps you finish your work. And that's where the 10 hours disappear. And that's why this isn't a note-taking app, it's a research agent, so use it to your advantage. If you enjoyed this video, this is what we do here, fast, clear updates on the biggest moves in AI. If you want to stay ahead of everything happening in this space, make sure you're subscribed. And if you want the hands-on side, demos, tools, workflows, and everything developers can actually build with, check out the world of AI. We also run a simple no-noise newsletter that gives you the most important AI tools